I work on climate change, renewable energy, resource extraction, and Latin America. Green technologies are the technologies that we need to manufacture and deploy in order to transition to a renewable energy system. And these are absolutely vital to avert the worst scenarios of global warming and the climate crisis and other environmental crises. Uh, at the same time, as I've discovered in my research, producing these green technologies like producing any technology or good uh, has social and environmental costs. I specifically look at lithium batteries, uh, which you might know from your cell phones or laptops, but are also the batteries that are used in electric vehicles. These batteries are therefore very important to cut carbon emissions out of our transportation sector, which in the US is the top contributor to greenhouse gases. I've also discovered doing research in Chile and also now in the US and Europe, um, so I've expanded a bit beyond Latin America, that the extraction of lithium poses a lot of grave environmental and social harms to the local ecosystems and communities that live near extraction. In Ecuador uh, was where I conducted field work initially for my dissertation and then for my first book, which came out this past year called Resource Radicals with Duke University Press. And that book looks at the uh, intense politics around resource extraction in Latin America, specifically looking at oil and mining. Uh, and then I transitioned to doing field work in Chile to explore the social and environmental costs of green technology related extraction. Chile is the number two producer of lithium in the world, so it's one of the top lithium exporters. And I traveled there and learned a lot from uh, scientists, from activists, from indigenous communities about how lithium extraction affects them and what uh, their thoughts are for a more sustainable way to produce green technologies. So I was lucky enough um, to win a couple of uh, external fellowships uh, this past year, or last year I should say. Um, the Radcliffe Institute Fellowship, which is a residential fellowship at, at Harvard University, and the Andrew Carnegie Fellowship, uh, which is a two-year-long fellowship that uh, doesn't require you to be in any specific place. Um, both of them support my writing, research, um, and field work related to this project called Brine to Batteries, uh, which I've kind of described already. Um, the Radcliffe Fellowship is just ending now. It's been a really great year of, despite being virtual, of having a community of scholars to, to work with and share my thoughts with and to present my initial findings to. And then next year I'll be sort of fully on fellowship uh, and hopefully be traveling to do some field work as that becomes viable. The book um, is provisionally titled Brine to Batteries uh, on the Extractive Frontiers of the Global Energy Transition. And that will uh, do, as I've sort of described already, which is trace uh, the resource extraction that is at the kind of beginning of the production of green technologies. And it'll set out what might feel like a very fraught dilemma, which is that on the one hand, we need to produce these green technologies very quickly uh, and deploy them around the world to transition to renewable energy. On the other hand, the production of these technologies causes local environmental and social harm. And so my book explores that dilemma uh, based on original research in, in a few different continents and also is going to explore ways to mitigate that dilemma so that there's not such a zero-sum trade-off between those two goals. I'm very excited to return to Providence College, not, uh, not this coming academic year, but the next one, so in fall of 22, uh, and hopefully bring some of what I've learned over these past couple of years and what I've been focusing on in my research into the classroom. Uh, I've learned over the years that students are very excited by learning about what their professors are researching in the moment, by being brought into that research process, and also uh, reading cutting-edge research of other scholars in those fields. So I'm excited to do that uh, around these topics, which I think that students also tend to be very interested in.